What's going on mobile creators? So happy to see you all again, even though I'm just talking to a camera. Now, I was actually sick last week, so I couldn't really release any video, but now I'm back on track with a new one. Now, by the way, guys, what are you doing for New Year's? You know what I'm doing? Probably be editing this video. Nah, joke aside, I'm hoping to release this video before New Year. Oh, and I also didn't really prepare uh, any speech for you guys. Maybe in the end, I'll say something. Anyway, this video is not about me. It's about you guys. And many of you have asked after after watching my iPhone 15 Pro Max video. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it down below. If there is a way to color grade Apple log footage on the iPhone without having to rely on professional video editing software. So that's why I decided to make this video and show you guys what is possible to professionally color grade Apple log footage on your iPhone using the editing app Luma Fusion. You probably already know this, but the reason why most people choose to use their iPhone as their primary camera is because of its convenience and portability. It's really an all-in-one system where you can shoot, edit, and publish your video all from one device. And what's great about the iPhone 15 Pro Max is that you can capture your videos in Apple Log, which by the way, significantly improves the quality of your video and provides a more cinematic and true to life look than when filming on the standard video mode. Now, whenever I can, I edit and color grade my footage in Final Cut Pro because it offers more advanced tools and I use plugins which are very limited on most editing apps. However, that doesn't mean you can't achieve great results in Luma Fusion. In fact, it has a lot of powerful features that make editing and color grading on the iPhone 15 Pro Max a breeze. Now, one of them is the option to import LUTs, also known as lookup tables, which are essentially preset color profiles that can be applied to your footage, giving it a certain look. And having this feature significantly speeds up the color grading process, ensuring a consistent look across all of your footage. And what's really great about Luma Fusion is that you can edit directly from the external SSD, which I think it's the only mobile editing app out there that can do this. And since the iPhone 15 Pro Max supports external recording, you can easily record your Apple Lock footage on the external uh, SSD and edit directly from it. And this is great because Apple Lock also produces huge file sizes. And this way you can save a lot of storage space internally on your iPhone 50 Pro Max. Now the editing app Luma Fusion is also very budget friendly for the features you get and you only need to make a one-time payment. It also supports Android and iOS and if you have the M1 Mac, you can even edit on your desktop. I also talk more about this in my online course smartphonefilmmaking.com where I go into more depth on how I use Luma Fusion to edit my mobile videos. Now if you're looking for something free, you can also use the photo app to color grade your footage. However, I find the results to not be as good. It is also more difficult to achieve the look you want and I also don't really consider it to be a video editing app. So if you're serious about creating high quality videos on your iPhone 15 Pro Max, Luma Fusion is a great option. So with that said, let's find a spot to start editing inside Luma Fusion. So this looks like a nice spot to color grade my video. One of the coolest advantage of editing on your phone is that you can edit basically from anywhere you want. I have this beautiful river right across me. Uh, I'm just closer to nature, which that's something I really appreciate. Now, if you're wondering what rig I'm using, this is the one from Small Rig, uh, co-designed with Brandon Lee. I have a video talking about it. What I like about this rig is that I can also fit it into my pocket and I can easily remove these handles on the side, uh, which I also don't need need uh, for editing and simply I can straight off edit off the SSD and hold it this way. So I'm now inside Luma Fusion and the first thing I'm going to do is head over to the bottom right, head over to preference and make sure external drive editing is enabled. After that, we're going to head over to the uh, top left and we're going to select linked folders, select add link to folder and I'm going to choose Choose the one terabyte Samsung, which is my external SSD, DCIM, the Apple folder. You can see these are all the footages that I shot today. So I'm just going to select open. So I'm going to select the folder and you can see we have all of our footages here. The next thing we're going to do is create a project. So I'm going to press over here and then I'm going to set the frame rate to uh, 25 frames per second since I shot the footage in 25 frames per second. The aspect ratio will be in a 16 by 9 format and the color space very important 
is to select the standard Rec. 709 10-bit. Once we have that, select the plus button. So we're first going to start uh, color grading this clip right here. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to press this button to add it to the timeline. So to color grade this clip, I'm going to double tap on it and then we're going to head over to the color and effects. Now, when it comes to color grading in Luma Fusion, a great tool is to use the video scope. This will help you give a consistent look to your videos and you can find this in the color and effects section at the top left and you can toggle it on and off by selecting the preview window up here. Now, there are three default scopes. You have the histogram, the waveform, and the vector scope. Now, I won't go over each scope in detail, but I'll try to quickly explain how I use them when color correcting uh, my shots. Now, when you tap hold up here, you can select how many video scopes you want to display. So I'm just gonna select one since we're editing on a tiny screen. So the histogram shows the brightness level in your video. Now, if it has a spike at either ends, it means some areas are either too dark, which is on the left side, or either too bright on the right side. So try to avoid having these spikes at either ends by adjusting the brightness slider over here to make sure nothing is over or underexposed. And by the way, you can find these color slides in the color and effects preset at the very top left and selecting original. Next up, let's choose a waveform. So similar to the histogram, there is the waveform, which I prefer as it gives me a better representation of the brightness and darkness across the image. And this is read from left to right. So it's a direct representation of the image you see right here. Now peaks at the top indicate that your image is overexposed and peaks at the bottom indicate that your video is underexposed. So it's important that no parts hit the bottom or the top to avoid over or under exposure. And then there is the vector scope, which shows me the hue or in other words, the colors and how saturated the image is. So you'll see as I add saturation and vibrance into the image, you can see that there's more information in our vector scope. And then you have this line over here, which is the skin tone line. And this helps me fix skin tone issues. Now I find the vector scope really great for fixing white balance issues and skin tones. Now, when it comes to color grading iPhone footage, the iPhone most of the time does a great job auto adjusting the brightness and white balance when using the default camera app on your iPhone. In most cases, you'll only need to make subtle adjustments and might not even need to rely on video scopes. However, if you want to color grade professionally, it's always a good idea to know what tools are available and how to use them because color grading by eye won't give you always accurate results. So let me now show you how to color correct and color grade your Apple Log footage with just a few simple steps inside Luma Fusion. And for that, we are going to use LUTs. And the first step is applying a conversion LUT. And by doing that, we can convert the flat log footage into a standard contrast rich image. So right now we're at the color and effects uh, section. And at the top right, you see this box, which shows us all of the LUTs that are available. And what's really cool about Luma Fusion is that you get the Apple Log to Rec. 709 conversion LUT. So right here we have the ProLost Apple Log Rec. 709. If we select that, you can see it beautifully converts the footage into a standard Rec. 709. Or we can also use the official Apple D-Log LUT, which works well too. For now, I'll stick with the Apple D-Log LUT. And you can see as I toggle it on and off, you'll notice that we now have normalized the image, which gives us a great starting point for color correcting and color color grading the clip. And from here on, you can apply the original, which is located over here, which gives you additional color adjustments to make changes to the exposure contrast, saturation, and white balance. And like I mentioned, you can also use the video scopes as a guide. Now I do have another video going more in depth on how to use these slides to color correct and color grade your footage. I'll make sure to leave a link to it as well. Now to me, the clip looks actually very good to me already. So there's no need to color correct it. Now you could export the clip like this, but I like to take it a step further and apply a creative LUT, essentially creating our final look for the clip. Now for that, 
that, you can use either the built-in preset that come with Luma Fusion, or you can use my premium mobile LUTs, which I've created and are available in my store. With this LUT pack, you get 10 creative LUTs that you can instantly apply to your mobile footage to make them pop. Now to import one of my LUTs, you can simply head over to the folder you saved it in. And I've saved it to my iCloud Drive, under documents, premium mobile LUTs, and you can see these are all the creative LUTs available inside the pack. And for example, if I want to import the Blockbuster LUT, I can tap hold on it and then share it and then simply select Luma Fusion and it will import the LUT. And once we head back, you can see that it has been imported. Now I already imported this, so I'm actually going to delete this one. So I'm now going to apply this LUT to my footage and important is to bring this LUT on top of the Apple log. And then from here on, I can adjust the intensity by dragging this slider to the right. Let's go for 70. And if we now look at the before and after, we get this nice orange and teal look. And once I'm happy with it, I can save the final look as a preset. This way I can apply the effect to the other clips without having to do the whole process all over again. I'm gonna select this plus star icon and I'm gonna name it, I'm gonna select the star icon again. And then now saved it to the presets which you can find at the top right under this star icon over here. So now when we head back, let's import this one over here. I'm going to double tap on it, make sure color and effects is selected. And then I'm gonna head over to the star icon and then apply this LUT. If I want to, I can adjust the intensity or even add the color slider and do some additional corrections. So the last thing we need to do is export this clip. So I'm gonna head down here, I'm gonna select movie. I'm gonna save it to my photos and the resolution is set to 4K, the frame rate to 25 frames per second. If it's for social media, you can set the video quality to economy or web. I'm gonna leave it in economy. The video codec will be HEVC and the file format MP4, which is great for social media. After that, I'm gonna select the top right icon over here and it will now export the movie and save it to our photos app. All right, folks, I hope this video was helpful and gave you a good idea of how to color grade your Apple log footage on your iPhone using Luma Fusion. As I mentioned at the beginning, I do have an online course where I teach everything I know about how to produce professional looking videos using just your iPhone. So feel free to check it out. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. And as new year is approaching, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who has supported my channel throughout the year. I'm incredibly grateful to have such an engaging community and I'm looking forward to creating more helpful content for you all in the future. I hope we can continue to grow together in 2024. Wishing you all a happy holiday and prosperous new year. Take care and see you the next year.